it really came about from uh, working with various bars, particularly in Edinburgh, where it's, it's got a really good cocktail scene. And what we very often found was that the wine section was in a completely different section of the list to the cocktails. But when you actually spoke to the guys through doing a lot of staff training, you found that they actually used an amazing amount of our products within the cocktails. And they use a lot of our products in competitions, particularly stuff in Imbibe and in Class Magazine. And we just felt that there was an opportunity for us to develop the relationship that we've already got with them further, but also to let other potential customers know about what Inotria does and that we try and do things a little bit differently. Part of the whole reason was to bring completely different winemaking styles to the competition for um, for the guys taking part, just to, to, to see what they could do and to, you know where their inspiration came from. Looking for quite a lot of just original takes on things. To have a competition like this, particularly with the Ice Cube Rosé, which is a, a new addition to our portfolio in the last two years, is a really exciting opportunity for us and we're going to be fascinated to see how the, the guys actually put something together. So what I'm looking for is, is really sort of flair, interesting combinations with, with the wine and I'd like to talk to them about product knowledge, see what they know about the wine and why they've actually used the sort of sweet dessert style wine um, for a cocktail. One of the main challenges uh, with using wine as one of the primary ingredients in a cocktail is being able to balance the cocktail. You're not wanting to add anything new to it, you're wanting to play upon the strength of the actual original wine. We really enjoyed it, you know, it takes it away from your kind of, you know, you're using, you're using the cures, you're using like sweets and sours and stuff like that, so the wine kind of brings a new aspect to it. Like we've been using wine and cocktails for the whole time I've worked at Bond Number Nine. It's like one of our one of our things. We've always got some kind of cobbler twist or a cobbled kind of cocktail on on the menu somewhere. I think as much as anything, it's ensuring that you characterise and showcase the wine within the cocktail and not overpower it. So we were very conscious that in supplying a spirit to give the drink a backbone, we wanted to ensure that it never overpowered the cocktail. In first place, winning a three-day trip to Sicily for all three members of the team is the team from Bramble. Deserved winners. So uh, well done, guys. No, we no, look no, forward to seeing you in Sicily. We're looking forward very to it. Very much looking forward to it. Thanks very much for, no for putting this on for us. Yeah. So we can't be happier about it all. And look forward to a long relationship with you guys. Cheers. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.